August 10th, St. Lawrence. St. Lawrence was chief of the seven Roman deacons of Pope Sixtus II. In the year 258, Emperor Valerian increased his persecutions of the Christians. One day, when Pope Sixtus II was in the cemetery of St. Callistus celebrating the holy mysteries, accompanied by some of his clergy, he was arrested. As the soldiers took the pontiff to be put to death, Lawrence followed him in anguish, saying, Where are you going, my father, without your son? Where are you going, holy pontiff, without your deacon? Isn't it the custom to offer the sacrifice with an assistant? Let me prove I am worthy of the choice you made when you entrusted me with the distribution of the blood of our lord sixtus replied i am not leaving you for long my son they are lenient on old men and i will go quick but not the youth a greater combat is reserved for you and you will follow me in three days now lawrence knew he would be arrested like the pope and he hence sought out the poor widows and orphans of rome and gave them all the money he had on hand selling even the sacred vessels of the altar to increase the sum when the prefect of rome heard this he imagined that the christians must have considerable treasure he sent for lawrence and said you christians say we are cruel to you but that is not what i have in mind i am told that your priests offer in gold and that the sacred blood is received in silver cups and that you have golden candlesticks at your evening services now your doctrine says you must render to caesar what is his bring these treasures the emperor needs them to maintain his forces god does not cause money to be counted he brought none of it into the world with him only words give me the money therefore and be rich in words lawrence replied that the church was indeed rich i will show you a valuable part but give me time to set everything in order and make an inventory after three days he gathered a great number of blind lame maimed the virgins leprous orphans and widows and put them in rows when the prefect arrived lawrence simply said these are the treasures of the church the poor people were the gold the virgins and widows were the pearls and other precious stones becoming furious the prefect condemned lawrence to die a slow and cruel death the saint was undressed and laid on a grill with burning coals beneath it witnesses of the scene saw a radiant joy on the martyr's face after a certain time had passed he addressed his torturers saying turn me around because this side is already well cooked they turned him and after a time he said it is done and ready to eat then turning his eyes to heaven he prayed to god for the conversion of rome and expired his body was carried away by converted roman senators who buried him in a grotto in the verano field near tivoli now in the magnificat our lady intoned this rule god puts down the mighty from their seats and exalts the humble today no one knows the name of the prefect of rome almost no one knows anything about the emperor valerian regarding the latter people either forgot him or consider him with horror on the contrary a great many people know about the humble saint lawrence and love him one of the most famous palaces of the world the escorial was built in spain by the great king philip the second in honor of st lawrence philip the second had a difficult fight against the french protestants on the feast day of st lawrence in the place called st quintin he engaged in a hard and decisive battle against the protestants he made god a promise to build a magnificent basilica in honor of st lawrence if he won the battle he crushed the heretics and to commemorate the occasion he erected the greatest work of art of his reign the escorial this palace was built in the shape of a grill to celebrate the martyrdom of st lawrence in this way philip the second perpetuated the glory of st lawrence this is just one example the catholic church has honored him in many other ways celebrating his virtues and venerating him you have then a realization of what our lady intoned the powerful were put down and erased from the memory of the people and the humble were glorified let us ask st lawrence to give us that same supernatural spirit he displayed before the prefect and his flamboyant confidence in the face of his sufferings and death